that you natural Lady Ain't D. looking tacky like, I keep my game tacky Yo, yeah, I'm so nappy I'm all big Cause that be natural the infamous. Ain't looking tacky Cause I keep my game tacky I'm so pretty I'm so fat boo I'm so nappy It's like a taboo I'm so filthy Got the tattoo Fucking these bitches Like I own rap boo All my business With my platoon Give me minutes Like I'm a typo Y'all this jersey On that cartoon And I'm still on top and welcome back to Afros and Baby Hairs and thank you once again for joining me in the reading room for book review number 11 and today we're going to be discussing A Child of a Crackhead 4 so if you're interested in hearing what I have to say about this book then please stay tuned I am not and do not encourage or promote this book to anyone who is under the age of 18 that is not my intention or motive. This book and video is for an adult audience and I'm merely sharing my opinions, thoughts, and sharing details of this book. If you are under the age of 18, please get your parents' consent and or supervision before reading this book or watching this video. Now that I've gotten that out of the way, let's get into this book review. I'm going to um, read the back of the book now. With Black Ice dead after Michael beheads him, Envy Mike and all his victims can finally live a normal life. But the nightmares are far from over. Rachel is the only one that can feel the truth in her soul that the drama is long from being over. As God shows her signs in her dreams, she does her best to warn Michael. But would he listen to her warning or take it as a rambling of a crazy woman who's been through too much pain in her life? Michael discovers a journal inside the trophy house that leads him down the journey of his father's life and why he is the devil in the flesh. So, now I want to inform you guys of some new characters in this particular book. So, we have Sylvia, who is Black Isis' deranged mother. Also, her mom and dad is in this book. I don't remember their names, but her mom and dad are in the book. We have Colonel, which is Celia's deranged husband. You have Doc, Doc who's Black Isis' half-brother by Sylvia's dad. Um, we have Wade and Mark. Um, they are Black Isis' half-brothers by Colonel. You have Victoria, who is Black Isis' half-sister by Colonel. Booker who is Black Isis' half-brother by Colonel. And then you have Javasia, who is a girl that's tied up um, out in the barn that Black Ice actually fell for when he was about 17. And then you have the pastor, Willie Edwards, who is Black Isis' dad. Yeah. So I'm going to just go through my pointers and then let you guys know what I think about this book and this entire series being this is the last book of the series that I know of. If you all know um, of another book in this series, then please let me know. So anyway, um, first of all, we found out that the machine Black Eye stole from the laboratory was a machine that belongs to the U.S. government. Um, they use the machine to clone animals to feed the U.S. population. Rachel's awakened and hears Black Ice's voice. She isn't sure whether it's a dream or reality. She calls Michael to tell him about it, but Michael thinks his mom is delusional, especially since he has Black Ice's head with him in the jar. Nick's also having emotional ups and downs about killing his father and has a bad vibe about the whole situation. However, he is trying to shake it off. It's a secret room in the trophy house and in the secret room, he discovers a journal. He also discovers an older woman's head in a jar. Her name is Sylvia. Her head also has the code to the secret room hidden inside of it. There were also other jars with Sylvia's body parts. Next, in the journal, Michael is discovering where his father came from and how he became the devil. So far, we have come to the, the conclusion that Sylvia is Black Ice's mother and she is the devil and groomed and raised Black Ice to be a monster just like her. Today, after almost killing Colino, Sylvia, Sylvia's 15 other kids dead. Sylvia wanted Black Ice to realize 
He was the devil and full of evil. So she had him to skin a pig that was hauled tied in a barn, rape some girls who had been kidnapped and tied up out there with the pig. She also wanted him to get one girl pregnant. Mind you, the boy was only 17. He was unable to torture the girls. So ultimately, he disobeyed his mother. So the punishment was Colonel was ordered to whip him, handcuffed, and he used whips with metal tips on them that actually tore open the flesh and ripped out meat. The devil did finally come out of Black Ice just to threaten Colonel and his 15 children's lives. His sister came to the barn where Doc was ordered to finish beating him with the whips. Victoria, the sister, came out to stitch up his wounds as he hung from the wall. Soon thereafter, their brother Booker came out there. The three of them were close, even though Booker was a triplet, but his brothers didn't care for him or Black Ice. Anyway, Black, Black Ice, Victoria, and Booker had been planning to escape, but they needed Black Ice to um, act right and obey their deranged mother. Anyhow, Sylvia ended up walking in on the conversation about the escape, but only catching the tail end. However, she ended up chastising uh, Victoria for stitching up Black Ice's wounds, and that led to Victoria getting a beat down. Michael ordered Booker to help their sister since she since he was tied up but Booker ended up getting his hand chopped off because their mother was so quick so accurate and so dangerous she ended up putting her son's hand in a jar with the rest of her victim's limbs finally agreed to obey his mother and was set free by Colonel who was still shook up from the night he saw the devil himself in black ice anyhow after black ice was free fed and bathed his mother took him out to the barn where those girls were tied up and told him to finish torturing them so he did he finished ripping one girl's skin off the next girl he raped and chopped her limbs off one by one even though his mother still wanted him to impregnate the girls so she would have more offspring with her bloodline However, when Black Ice got to the last girl, his mother would not let him touch her. The girl did have him in a daze by her beauty for a second, but he snapped out of it. He also realized that he enjoyed causing pain and suffering to innocent people. At 13 years old, Sylvia had Doc. He was her father's son. He had been raping her since she was nine years old, and her mother her mother didn't do anything but turn her head. Anyhow, Sylvia still went to church and finally got the courage to, to tell the pastor the hell she was going through, only for him to turn around and rape her as well. The pastor was an ex-pimp and drug dealer who had been to prison for prostituting underage girls. Nothing about him had changed. He just pretended to be a godly to be godly to basically keep the cops off of him and um, while he pimped out and drugged girls from the church. Next, pregnant by the pastor and was about to self-abort the baby until she met the devil and um, he told her that both of her sons were his and began to instruct her on how to become strong and dangerous. She first ended up killing her dad and her mother, basically stabbing them to death as Doc, the baby, watched and cheered her on. Then she went to slice up the pastor who was at the time being inter busy entertaining someone else's wife. She got sliced up too, the wife. After that, Sylvia went off to the woods to meet her future husband. The devil had set up and told her about. The goal was to produce an army of killers to take out the weak in the world. That's why she ended up in the woods with Colonel and kept having all of those children. Next point, they fallen for the girl. The mother wouldn't let him kill. Her name was Javasia. They ended up having a sexual relationship that led to a real relationship. And soon, Javasia was pregnant, but still was chained to the wall in the barn. Black Ice began telling her everything, and soon he told her about the escape. He and his sister Victoria were planning. Next pointer, Doc ended up raping Javasia after he found out Black Ice got her pregnant. He threatened to kill her if she told anyone. Victoria, Booker, and Javasia all ended up escaping the barn and headed into the woods. Victoria had the map and money. Black Ice could sense something was wrong with Javasia, but she never said what. 
Sylvia, Colonel, and the rest of their children set out to hunt them down. They also brought the wolves. Booker was the first to die, then Victoria. Black Ice told Javasia to run on without him. Doc ended up hitting Black Ice. Then Black Ice fell into a cave and was unconscious for a few days. Everyone thought he was dead except Sylvia. Black Ice ended up setting the place on fire. He killed Colonel, then Doc, last Sylvia. But before he took his mother out, she told him that this was all a plan. She told him that Javasia was his twin sister, that he had impregnated, and now she was set free. The whole while, Sylvia had kept her away from all the other siblings so that she could train her. Sylvia stated that Javasia was stronger and more deadly than him, and now she is off in the world. That's when Black Ice discovered that he would never trust women. He killed his mother and set out to New York to find Javasia to kill her too. Into reality, outside of the book, Black Ice ended up coming back for Luana. As soon as his clone came out of the machine, he went all the way to L.A. to get her and brought her back to New York where Tanya was with Tiffany's baby. Tanya ended up going, Tan, Tanya ended up giving Luana a ghetto C-section, splitting her stomach and pulling both twins out of Luana's belly before Black Ice walked in and caught her. Michael, um, Michael reads more of the journal and finds out that he has more siblings and nieces and nephews, all of which Black Ice wants him to be a part of his army to take over the world. He tells Michael that he is coming for all of his children. Then he sees his father standing there, younger and stronger, but also sees Black Ice's head in the jar. However, Black Ice managed to tell him that you can't kill the devil before the lights went off. Then when they came back on, Black Ice was gone. Michael thought that he was hallucinating, but he got a text from his mother telling him that the devil was not dead and was near him and to be ready. Thoughts on this book and this series. Um, what a family and what a background. Um, this book is wild. The whole series is wild and even more crazy. And also to know that the author said that the um, series was based on his real life. <clears throat> wow. All I can say is this book is really also a lesson for some of these child molesters out there. You may be thinking that you are getting away with doing something and then these kids grow up and come after you. So... Because some of these people end up crazy behind stuff like that. And also to stay off drugs, hide your kids, hide your wife. Some of these scenes in these books were sickening, gruesome, sad. Final book was the best out of the series. Um, and these books are also, you know books that make you really realize that you actually need to watch your back your front your side your middle in these streets because some of these people is crazy and you know you gotta do what you gotta do but yeah it's a lot of kidnapping of women a lot of drugging women raping women it's a lot um so yeah that's how i feel about this series um, and like I said, once again, this is A Child of a Crackhead, a novel by Shamik A. Spike. This would be book four. Um, if you read this book or series, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And I would greatly appreciate it for this particular book review. I do want to thank you all for stopping by today. I really appreciate your time and energy. I hope to see you guys on the next video. Peace and love. And as always, be blessed. DJ, DJ Mike, Mike C. C on the track. On the track.
Cause that be natural Lady D I ain't gonna I keep my game tackle Yo Yeah I'm so nappy I'm all big Cause that be natural The infamous I ain't gonna get tacky Cause I keep my game tackle I'm so pretty I'm so fat boo I'm so nappy It's like it's a tail boo I'm so filthy Got the tattoo Fuckin' these bitches Like I own rap boo On my business With my platoon Give me these minutes Like I'm a top boo Y'all just cheer me On that cartoon And I'm still on top With these buffoons I'm so nappy I'm so nappy All these dudes that wanna get at me I'm so cultured and I'm happy Just as what you wanna come back me Cause I'm comfortable in my skin End of the day you lose I win I'm so comfortable in my ends Don't care if I make or lose a few friends And I look like a trillion bucks Ladies he won a lotto Cause in the Lord I trust And beauty is the motto Naturally thick in the butt I'm Billy Blanks on the top oh, It's just a little rough Just pretend I'm from Morocco Or get all up in my hair Cause I let my locks grow naturally My curls popping everywhere I'm maximizing on this natural thing Like it or not I don't care You clowns ain't about to worry me Cause I does this for myself And I'm rapping for my ancestry